everybody knows that the best commercials are the ones for Christmas. The best players play on Christmas Day. Wade kicks it out the box, throws it down, and a foul. And some of the most unforgettable moments of the league happen on Christmas Day. Rose with a chance to win here on Christmas Day. Rose left, throws in the lane, throws, good! Christmas Day is simply special. The commissioner always saves some of the best games for this date. And with this special tradition already upon us, this year will be no exception. All the contenders in the league will face each other on December 25th, and it's hard to decide which game is the most attractive. Because that's precisely what the NBA is looking for. Christmas Day is the day everyone watches. More than 12 hours of basketball that satisfies fans from all corners of the world, offering top-tier games during all schedules. A day marked in red on the league's calendar that, like an anticipated boxing match, is capable of changing players' legacies in a single night. And the players are fully aware. A win amounts to nothing more than that, a regular season victory. But the aura that permeates the games is different. The competitiveness, the intensity, and the quarrels between the teams that in many occasions end up facing each other in the playoffs becomes normal on a not very normal day. Everyone, absolutely everyone wants to be the hero who stands out in the spotlight. That electrifying figure that will be on the front pages of all the media during the hectic December 26th. Well, maybe not in that way. <laughs> what better example to demonstrate this than one of the best Christmas games of recent times? So let's take the time machine to travel back to 2016 an era when the future of the NBA was in question, for the simple reason that there was a team so dominant, they were unbeatable. The Warriors had acquired Kevin Durant in free agency just a few months ago and had won 27 of the first 31 games of the season. After losing the finals earlier that year to the Cleveland Cavaliers, the Warriors were hungry for revenge. So when the NBA scheduled the showdown between the two finalists on Christmas Day, Adam Silver knew sparks were going to fly. And pass inside to Green. And they got that. It was the redemption game for Golden State. But it was also a chance for the Cavs to take a swing at the table and prove that Goliath had a weakness. And the Cavs got the W. Fakes drives on Durant. Left-handed. Throws it up and it rolls in. Tie game. But for the memory, they left probably the most spectacular game in Christmas Day history. But not the only one. Far from it. This day has long been one of the NBA's emblems like Thanksgiving with the NFL. Ever since the 80s, some games have been saved in the retina of the spectators around the world. In 1986, one such game was between the Chicago Bulls and the New York Knicks at Madison Square Garden. This was Jordan's first Christmas Day game and, unfortunately, it didn't go the way he had hoped. MJ signed a mediocre performance for his standards and to top it off, Patrick Ewing managed to score a buzzer beater that gave the Big Apple team the win. Ewing sets a screen. The shot is off. Loose ball. Ewing goes up. The basket counts. And it wouldn't be Big Pat's only great performance. As in 1985, he signed the greatest comeback in Christmas Day history when his Knicks beat the Boston Celtics after trailing by 25 points. Still, Jordan ended up becoming a Christmas Day icon, averaging 28.3 points per game on the night. And if we fast forward to almost the present, we can watch another one of the best Christmas games of recent times. On December 25th, 2021, the Milwaukee Bucks and Boston Celtics dueled to prove who was in the driver's seat in the Eastern Conference. Two contenders that were practically enjoying their best window to win the championship. Spoiler, the Bucks pulled it off. But the truth is that the final moments of that direct duel were, without a doubt, some of the most heart-pounding minutes of the entire season. But beyond incredible games, beyond unforgettable performances, and beyond magical moments, there was a year in which Christmas meant so much more to the NBA. The collective bargaining agreement expires midnight Thursday, and if there's no deal by then, well, the owners could impose a lockout, and you've heard that one before. In 2011, the NBA came to a standstill. Major disagreements between players, league owners, and commissioners led to a lockout of the NBA. One of the worst news any basketball fan can hear. The players did their best to stay in shape, going overseas or playing in much needed exhibitions, while the association and the owners were losing money by the hour. A situation that benefited absolutely no one. 
But finally, after months of negotiation, both parties reached an attempted agreement, an agreement that, if signed, would allow the regular season to start on a very special date. Yes, as you have guessed, we're talking about Christmas Day. Besides leaving us with one of the best commercials in the history of Christmas, that 2011 Christmas Day was simply spectacular. The Boston Celtics of Paul Pierce, Ray Allen, Rajon Rondo, and Kevin Garnett against Carmelo Anthony's Knicks, the Big Three's Miami Heat against Dirk Nowitzki's Dallas Mavericks, Derrick Rose's Chicago Bulls against Kobe Bryant's Los Angeles Lakers, Dwight Howard's Orlando Magic against Kevin Durant, James Harden and Russell Westbrook's Oklahoma City Thunder, and Chris Paul and Blake Griffin's Los Angeles Clippers against a young Golden State Warriors that would give a little bit of a fight over the next decade. Five games full of true legends that offered their best show to millions of fans who had not enjoyed a single NBA game for months. And as you might expect, there are some players who play more often on Christmas Day and some who play less often. For example, it is very difficult for any of the teams that are not in playoff contention to be able to get a game on December 25th. And the opposite is also true. When the legacy of the players is so great, the admiration of the basketball public makes some teams indispensable during that special day, as is the case today with the Los Angeles Lakers or the Golden State Warriors, who, under virtually any circumstances, will have the opportunity to play when Santa is coming to town. This criteria that the league follows to choose its games have allowed the records of the Christmas Day games to be highly valued. Both those of regularity, usually starring iconic superstars, and those of a single game. Just as he is the all-time leading scorer in NBA history, approaching a staggering 40,000 points during his career, LeBron James is also the all-time leading scorer on Christmas Day, a record he also achieved recently, specifically in 2021, when he surpassed the mark of 383 points set by Kobe Bryant. However, other records are more unpredictable. For example, do you know who the player with the highest average points in the history of Christmas days? The answer is a player that all fans know, but no one would bet on. But with an average of 43.3 points per game, Tracy McGrady is probably the GOAT of Christmas night. In second and third place, considering only players who have played more than once, we have two Lakers legends, Mr. Logo himself, Jerry West, and Wilt Chamberlain, both with an average around 32 points per game. The first active player on the list is Joel Embiid with an impressive 34.3 points per game. The single game records are also, to say the least, hardly attainable. The record for the points in a Christmas game is held by Bernard King, who scored 60 points on December 25, 1984. The record for assists belongs to Tiny Archibald with 18 in 1972. The record for rebounds, of course, belongs to Wilt Chamberlain with 36 in 1961, just one year before his incredible 100-point performance. Kyrie Irving is the record holder for steals with seven in 2016, and DeAndre Jordan is the all-time record holder for blocks in a single game with eight in 2011. But just as there are positive records, there are also negative ones. And I'm not talking about having a bad day and breaking the record for turnovers in a Christmas game, as Kobe Bryant did in 2009. I'm talking about players whose December 25 is consistently bad. Those players who, like the Grinch, come to steal the Christmas spirit. I'm really sorry, Lakers fans, but I'm talking about some of your guys. In fact, the Los Angeles Lakers role players have been so consistently bad that four of their former players rank in the top four of the rankings that no one wants to be in, the worst shooters in Christmas Day history. Vladimir Radmanovich is the worst player in December 25th history based on shooting percentages. The Siberian has only managed to score 23.1% of the shots he has attempted on this date. In second place is Jordan Farmer with 24%, followed by Brian Shaw with 27.6% and Shasha Vujicic with 31.4%. In fact, the fifth player in the rankings also played a Christmas game with the Lakers, Danny Green, who has only scored 31.4% of the shots he has attempted. But it's the sixth name on the list that is very, very surprising. Of all the legends in NBA history, there is one who plays particularly poorly on Christmas Day, and it's none other than Stephen Curry. The Akron-born point guard has played nine games on December 25th, and his averages are 15.3 points, 6.7 assists, and 4.9 rebounds per game. His percentages? Let's just say they are not very good, with 31.5% shooting from the field 
and 23.1% on three-pointers. In playing against the Denver Nuggets in this year's edition, it's clear that Steph is going to have to bring out his non-Christmas version to take home the game. But we all know what he's capable of, basically because the fewer the chances, the easier it is for Curry to shine. And that's precisely the competitive gene that allows you to win these games that feel like early playoffs. Time passes, generations continue, and players retire. They are replaced by younger ones who, like the Olympic torch, will carry the legacy and image of the NBA. However, even if the legends are no longer there to delight us with their actions, they will always be alive in one place, in the memory of the fans who watch them play and dominate all their competition on the biggest stages of world basketball. And during the regular season, there is no bigger stage than the one that December 25th offers. Indelible memories alongside our families and loved ones as we watch intently as the world's best prodigies do what they do best. Yeah, for me, that's the true meaning of Christmas.